Uh, it was mentioned in the technical briefing that the going forward, the goal will be to test workers every two weeks. Uh, how, many, how many workers do you estimate will be tested at this interval? And can, can we clarify if the government will be bearing the cost or will be sharing the cost with the employers? For construction workers, so the idea, the intent is that so long as the construction workers are working on site, then we would want to put in place a regular testing regime at an interval of perhaps two weeks. So that the number of workers who are being tested will depend, as I said, on the number of workers who are resuming work, but progressively it will scale up and we want to test all the workers who are working, who, are, who, have, who will be resuming work, and it will be done on a regular basis. This will be a new regulatory requirement on top of all the other safe distancing measures that we have put in place that we are talking about that contractors will now have to uphold. So I have no doubt, and as, and as with all regulatory requirements, the principle must be that the company must bear the cost. So I have no doubt that it will mean construction costs in Singapore will be higher because of these regulatory requirements. Right? And all of us have to be prepared to pay this higher cost because we want construction work to be done safely in Singapore from henceforth.